Krieg could rewrite everything we know about life beyond our galaxy. Top scientists at Cambridge University saying they have found the strongest signs yet of extraterrestrial life. The James Webb Space Telescope has spotted a far away ocean covered planet, a place that could potentially be supporting life. The planet's name is K218b. It is more than 120 light years away from Earth. Scientists detected gases in the atmosphere that on Earth only come from living organisms. Is this the proof that we are not alone? Joining us now to break this all down is Avi Loeb, Harvard professor and renowned theoretical physicist. Professor Loeb, it is always so good to see you. Thanks for making the time tonight. Thanks for having me. How significant is this discovery? What is the likelihood that these gases actually mean this planet is teeming with extraterrestrial life? Well, first, I should say this is a molecule, as you pointed out, that is produced by microorganisms in our oceans here on Earth. But this particular planet has a thousand times higher abundance of this molecule. And the claim is that maybe it's surrounded uh, by ocean water, liquid water, and a hydrogen atmosphere on top of it. Uh, the problem, there are two problems. First, uh, such a molecule is also produced in the interstellar medium without any life. We see it also in comets without life on the comet. And so it's not at all uh, obvious that if you find such a molecule in the atmosphere of a planet, it's indicative of life. The second question, which is easier to address, is how significant is the discovery? Uh, statistically speaking, maybe it's a fluctuation that uh, they didn't analyze correctly. And in fact, just over the past week, there was a paper uh, by someone else claiming that uh, the significance is not as large as claimed by the original authors. And so this will be debated. And the fundamental question is, just by detecting a molecule in the atmosphere, can we be sure that it represents life? Yeah, it, it's fascinating. Scientists emphasize uh, this is tentative, they're being cautious, and with your explanation, it is clear why uh, they are not declaring that this is proof of living organisms. How would we get that confirmed? What is the next step, if any, here? Well, first, I should say um, um, that uh, I'm much less uh, excited about discovering evidence for microbes or microorganisms uh, than finding intelligent beings in our cosmic neighborhood. And that is for a simple reason. Uh, a a an advanced intelligent civilization uh, is someone that we can learn from, whereas microbes, we can't really uh, imagine, I, I mean, other than finding other forms of microbes that we haven't found on Earth, you know, um, it will be very likely uh, that anywhere where you have uh, liquid water, you also have the chemistry of life uh, as we know it, and it wouldn't be as surprising. Uh, I think we should hedge our bets and search for both primitive forms of life and intelligent forms of mm -hmm. life because the evidence could be far more convincing if we find a gadget in our backyard that right. was produced by another civilization. Like advanced technology. My infectious disease interested brain uh, is not is a little freaked out about finding microorganisms on another planet and what that could do uh, to us. But I do want to ask about one more topic on Thursday. Uh, you're set to speak at a briefing on UAPs hosted by the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability, uh, offering a science-driven perspective. You have said that astronomers, not government officials, should be leading the search in the skies. Tell me more about that. Right, because uh, we are talking about a subject uh, which is uh, the, the job definition of astronomers, what lies outside the solar system. Um, the U.S. government is focused on national security threats, and uh, uh, they don't have the time, they don't have the resources or the expertise to figure out what lies outside the solar system. So if the U.S. government has any data or materials that are of interest, I would love to help them figure it out. And that will be the case that I will present uh, in Congress with the hope that if they do have such uh, materials or data, it will save me a lot of time. Professor Avi Loeb, it's always good to see you. Really appreciate the conversation tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.